The president continues to call on lawmakers to unite around his supplementary budget bill. While his Democratic Party is all for it, the opposition parties see more harmed than good. Shin Zemin zooms in on what's causing the holdup. Three opposition parties, different political visions, but speaking with one voice. The chief policymakers of the main opposition Liberty Korea Party, the center left People's Party, and the minor opposition Padin Party once again have stiffened their stance against supporting the president's 9.9 .9 billion U.S. dollar supplementary budget bill. Their reasoning? that the bill is outside the boundaries of the National Finance Act, which stipulates that an extra budget can only be drawn up in cases of a war, massive natural disasters, or mass unemployment. While the ruling party and the government do see the current situation as posing a risk of mass unemployment, the opposition parties don't. Representatives of the three opposition parties also say they cannot endorse a plan centered on creating jobs in the public sector, as that would pass on a financial burden to future generations, but say they're willing to cooperate on other pending matters. Such strong defiance from the opposition could also jeopardize the passing of the budget before the June extraordinary session ends on the 27th of this month. Despite such concerns, President Moon pushes on. The top office of Chongwada held a luncheon on Tuesday with the ruling and opposition party leaders of the parliamentary committees, in which President Moon urged the lawmakers to evaluate the budget in a speedy manner with the goal of implementing it in the latter half of the year. But in a show of resistance to the budget, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party boycotted the meeting, which came just a day after the president addressed the parliament asking for its support. President Moon, however, unwavering, urged the committee members to review the bill so it can be tabled for the budget committee to review on the 20th. Since I'm in, Arirang News.